This will be my eighth year. Um, this is about my fourth festival. About 16 years, I think. 11th or 12th Nest Creek, I'm not exactly sure, I don't really remember. In 16 years. 18 if you count when I was in the room. I missed the very first one. This was my 19th year. I missed the first year. 20 years. I've been coming to the Nest Creek Festival for 20 years, since, uh, since the beginning, since 1991. Yeah, 91 was the first Nest Creek Music Festival. I was good friends with Gord Olson. We became good friends through tree planting. He was actually my boss, um, but, but we had talked about starting a music festival. The beginning came from a couple of different places. We tree planted in the spring, and we used to have these tree planting Olympics at Nestlin Lake. And we had everything from log rolling uh, on the water to uh, shovel toss to all sorts of different games that we called the, the tree planting Olympics. So that was sort of one of the, the ideas. The other thing was we had two ecological fairs pre Ness Creek. In 1989 and 1990, there was an ecological fair at Neslin Lake, which is about 20 kilometers from here. Um, they weren't going to be continuing that project, and Gord said, well, why, why don't we do something else? And I said, well, let's do a music festival. But I said, I don't want to do it at Neslin Lake because it was crown land, and I thought, we really should have a place where it's private land, we'll have more flexibility and, and ability to do what we want. Because there was difficulties with having a festival the ecological fairs at a recreational site. There was limitations to what you could do. Uh, too many rules. He said, I have a place to show you. So we hopped in his truck. It was November, probably 10th, 1990. And we drove here and we drove over to the, the, the peak over there where the Ness Creek is. And Gord said, what do you think? And I said, this is a good place for a music festival. It was just a small meadow in the middle of the forest. There was, you know, it was pasture land. When my dad got out of farming, and because I was tree planting, he gave up, uh, he sold all the cattle. So we had this land, and uh, well, why not have a music festival? So I said, let's pick a date. And so we picked the third weekend in July, 1991, and that's how you start a music festival. You pick a date. Nothing in this beautiful world ever came from you and you. First year, close your eyes and imagine nothing. That's what we had. There was nothing here except that little statue on the peak. There was no structures, there was nothing. The first festival was basically set up like a tree planting camp. A couple of mess tents, um, a cook shack, the tables, chairs, everything that we basically moved from the tree planting site into the Nest Creek site, this little meadow out in the middle of the forest. Oh God, we started with oh, very little, a few hot dogs and some tarps, pretty much, eh? At one time we didn't even have a, a truck and heard maybe one hammer. Some, lots of tarps and two by fours <laughs> and uh, tree planter tents. And the stage was just a, a, a hay, hay trailer from a farmer that we borrowed and uh, we put, strung a little tarp, a tree planting tarp over it and that was it. There was no power, there was nothing. It was just empty. It's hard to believe looking around right now that that was the case, but that's what it was. It was more like a tree planting party. Uh, yeah, well, the first year here, yeah, here at Nest Creek, I mean, and we used a lot of the uh, tree planting tents and generators and stuff like that. And so it was, I don't even think there was 200 people here, maybe, something like that. And now it's 3,000 or more, yeah. It was really gorgeous, eh? It was just lush, you know, just beautiful. This is uh, my ancestors' original territory for hunting and gathering and trapping. So this is, it gave me this, it just gave me really good feelings when I arrived at the time.
You know, when we first began, it was, you knew everybody. It was a group of friends who got together to have music in the forest, kind of, and to bring our heads together about the ecology of the land and, the, you know, and to celebrate the, the land. And, and literally, you knew everybody there. So it was a small, it was a small little community gathering. And um, we lost money <laughs> the first year. And we, we, although maybe as a private enterprise it would have worked for us, we just felt we wanted to draw in more people. And also there's government funding available if you're a nonprofit corporation. So we, we organized the second year into a nonprofit corporation. So the board was formed in 92. And then slowly we, we improved the site. Um, if we made money from the festival, we would invest it in the infrastructure. So we put in power one year uh, and we just slowly built uh, permanent structures. There was a couple of big years uh, when we built the permanent stage was a really uh, kind of milestone in the development of uh, Nest Creek. 11 years maybe after they started, they did a, a long-term planning session and they realized that Rather than grow a four-day festival into this huge craven-like event with 10 or 20,000 people, they wanted to keep it limited in size, cap it. So what we decided is instead of growing vertically, we're going to grow horizontally. And we're going to have more events and do other arts-oriented programming. This way, the site infrastructure is being utilized over the whole summer. More and more people are getting to enjoy the site without having such a huge ecological footprint. Like the essence of it to me is still there, and which blows me away that you can still have like 150 people or 4,000 people, you can still all get together, listen to music in the bush and live pretty peacefully. Over the years it's gotten more uh, professional, I, I, I don't know if that's the right word for it, but. Artists that come to Nest Creek, I think are, I guess Saskatchewan is sort of, it's the backwaters of the country, hey? So they don't expect to see the, the level of, of professionalism on the stage and the sound. It's kind of the, the perfect combination of, of laid back and organized the way this is, you know. It's very casual, but yet they totally have their shit together. It's a great production, but it's not uptight at all, you know. And, but yet, and it's not, on the other side of that, it's not like completely in total disarray. They, they totally have it together. It's, I, I don't know if it took them 20 years to get it together, if they had it together from the first year, but uh, it's pretty excellent. The other thing about Nest Creek is the audience is very supportive of artists and they're very, they're here to see artists. Well, I, I think it is, it's, it's really exceeded the, the vision. Like we didn't imagine that it would become this successful. This festival began as a small community and, and, it, and 20 years later it's, it's, it's still that community only, only, only larger and larger. I think it will continue to evolve and grow and take on new life that nobody could even imagine right now and I don't think we want to sort of close the door on what can happen here. That's been part of the magic is letting things happen and unfold. You know Nest Creek means so many after 20 years of Nest Creek, it, you know, there's just so many different things that this festival um, means to different people. It's the 20th year. You know, 20 years this has been happening, and look at what it's grown to be. It's awesome, and I get to be a little, little bit be a part of that, you know? I feel that I'm a part of the festival, and you always want to just help out a little bit. And, uh, it's really hard to leave. And you really feel at home here. There's a community here that, that I can't find other places. I'm lucky. I always consider myself very lucky to have been able to be involved in this from the beginning. 20 years. It's been a good time. And I hope that for the, there'll be another 20 years and it will just 
uh, get even better. Sun.